Hello everyone, this is Aaron Graham, the member of NYBT. I'm sure you're familiar with my bets. I'm putting up a tutorial on how to use the SimCity 4 plugin manager. All right, here it goes on my desktop, SC4 PIM. We're gonna double click it. Need to come up, it should come up soon. All right, here we go, you get a, um, a small pop-up about what you need to what you want to load up into plugins manager now the first thing I don't like to really load up is the SimCity Maxis um, file one reason is because it takes too long to load up so you can just do that you can just uncheck it but that depends that's up to you um, if you if you're trying to actually mod if you're trying to do some changes on something you probably can but I haven't really gotten to that um, for this, we can uncheck that, or you can leave it checked. It's up to you, but we can just press OK for now. Um, but the for one thing to know, um, the more stuff you have in your plugins manager, the longer it will take. That's for sure. OK, now here we're going to click on our standard models, and as you see, these are the models that are actually in my plugins folder. Well, mine is kind of empty right now. Um, we're going to play around with the NYBT Kingsbridge Apartments Dark Knight. Okay, so as you can see, how do we actually make a DSC? I mean, yeah, a DESC file. Well, actually, you have to drag it into this area. And as you can see, they did got different type of things. Like if you trying to make an office building, that's down here, commercial office, um, commercial service, uh, residential. Um, farms. Um, well, yeah, yeah. Farms is down here in this area. My, my fault. All right. So right now, I'm just gonna just jump over into the um, apartments. So I'm just gonna get this. This is the King's Bridge. We're just gonna drag into Loaf Wealth. Okay. We can leave the name as it is. Now this is how we actually change our properties, or or the basic or some of the properties. You you can change most of them or them all of them actually in the reader. Okay, so we're just going to click on this. This is the inter um, filling degree. All right, this got something to do with the capacity of the people being inside the building. Now, in Sin Devotion, I have learned that we basically have to go by the yellow box on the building filament of the uh, box. As we can see, the building does not fill the entire box. So my estimate is usually um, for actually for this building. I think I went by 60 so I'm just gonna press 6 and we're gonna press OK now you can see that the capacity has actually changed from R dollar sign or low wealth for those who doesn't know um, to 707 people yeah that's a lot of people inside a building okay um, right here is the LTEX multi yeah, multilingual. And this is usually a. I think it's supposed to have something. Yeah, well. Yeah, for um trans um translating, and we're just gonna leave it as it is. I mean, you actually don't have to really click on that. That's what I usually do for NYBT or all my work. I always do it that way. But that's up to you if you want to try to work with the pros. Um, I'm not really a pro, so I'm trying to get up there. All right, create a global lot for this building. Um, click this and you'll get a small pop-up, lot creation. For this building, I'm going with a lot of two out of two, a lot stage. I want needs to be a seven. Press OK. OK, you get another window. And this is your lot. Can you do some changes on it? I'm not really sure, I haven't. Yeah, you can, you can change it, you know, the lot stage if you ha if you need to if you made a mistake I'm gonna leave it as that um, dependency listing you can look around through here for dependencies I really don't mess with that um, the lot editor if you click on this this is a, their little way of having a lot editor I don't really mess with it because I really don't know much about it but I just I'm just showing you guys I'm just showing it off all right. Um, open building from this lot. Okay, that's this. Okay, 
So that's basically it for that. It's just how just the basics of using the plugin manager extended 2009 RC5. Yes. All right, and that's it.